Hey you guys, it's Diane. I'm gonna show you how I prep my fat-free peanut butter for the week. So I um, am exclusively a PB2 peanut butter user now. Um, if you're not familiar with PB2, it's basically a pressed peanut butter. Um, it's in powder form. They've just taken peanuts and they've pressed the oil out of it to make it fat-free. Um, for this one, they've added a little chocolate. This one is just the true peanut butter flavor. Um, 45 calories for two tablespoons, no fat. A little bit of sugar, but truly not anything that you need to be concerned about. Um, if you're looking to try to incorporate or you want to keep peanut butter in your meal plan, but you are worried about the calories or the fat, this is the answer um, to that situation for you. Um, I use both flavors. I use the peanut butter form for my shakes because I um, already have chocolate shakes, so I found that adding the chocolate flavor didn't really do anything um, for me, but the true um, solid peanut butter flavor did actually add that peanut butter um, flavor right back into my chocolate shakes without having to deal with those extra calories and the extra fat, so this is awesome if you like peanut butter in your shakes. Um, what I use the chocolate for is for snacking, and I also use it for toast and my Vans gluten-free, dairy-free waffles, which I have incorporated into my 21-day fix meal plan. Um, I generally consider this a free food. I don't even worry about what container that I allocate for this, um, unless, of course, I'm having it more than one time a day, and then I might just kind of consider it a, yeah, an orange container or something just to kind of allocate something out. But um, there's no fat in it, so it's really hard to kind of place where um, to put this in the calories are so low. I don't even think I eat two tablespoons. So. Um, how I make this into peanut butter form. So I use a glass container here with the lid on it. I think these are kind of rubber made dishes or something. I do like to use glass because um, I try to stay away from the plastic anytime I can and I put that in the refrigerator. So I just basically take my PB2 and I'm gonna put it into my glass jar and I'm gonna add in some um, basically room temperature water. Uh, this will harden up as it gets cold. So um, when you're making this in your jar, you might wanna keep it a little bit on the liquidy side so that when you put it in the refrigerator and it, it gets cold um, and it starts to thicken up on you, um, it won't be too hard to where you can't spread it on some toast or um, a waffle. So it looks like this might be just a little bit too watery. So I'll just keep adding in powder and water until I get it to the consistency I like. I have no idea how much powder I put in, you know, per how much water I put in. I literally just trial and error it until I get it to the consistency um, that I like so that it's spreadable on my toast and my um, waffles. Another good use for this in this paste form is um, for a nice little after school snack. So my daughter and I will cut up some apples and then we'll put a little bit of PB2 um, in this paste form on a plate and then we'll kind of dip our apple slices into our PB2. We have a nice healthy um, snack for after school. So here you can see um, this is, whoops, um, this is the paste format here. It's a little bit on the watery side, which is fine because like I said, I'm gonna put this into the refrigerator and it will kind of solidify a little bit um, so that when I'm ready to spread it, it will be easily spreadable on my toast or my waffles. Um, if you have any questions about PB2, definitely don't hesitate to ask me. Um, this is pretty readily available these days. Um, you can find it at Target. You can find it at most Walmart stores. They're in the peanut butter section. I bought these big jars off of a Groupon that I found going through Facebook. So keep an eye open for that. It was a really great deal. Um, or you can also go to the Bell Plantation um, website and you can order it in bulk there as well. So another way to add some flavor and fun back into your 21 day meal plan without having to utilize too many of your containers to get the flavor you love.